Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed. It's a Saturday morning and I'm not at work. Yeah, which means I can come up in the shack and play some radio. So we've got the Retives RA79. This is the latest toy. On the previous video, I installed the uh, Exuma, the Exuma software. And it's pretty amazing, really, what it opens up the radio to do. And I launched that video this morning and it literally about an hour ago. And I've already had comments back on uh, how we can adjust this radio further, which um, I'll do that possibly at the end of the video. But on this video, I really want to get this uh, radio connected up to my Antron 99 because on the previous video, we did try some sideband performance uh, testing. It didn't work very well with this little telescopic antenna. And I kind of suspect the radio may have been overloaded, even though I had the Yosu on its lowest power. So what we want to do is get this radio connected up to my Antron 99 and have a little flick around and see if any skips coming in on sideband on 11 meters. To do that, we just need a simple adapter. Now I have got this, uh, what I call a pigtail adapter on one end. You have a female 259, which will go to my antenna. And on this end, we have a female SMA. These aren't expensive. They're only about five pounds. Um, personal advice would be that this one's okay, but I'd try and get one if I was you with a longer piece of uh, extension coax because the weight of the coax tends to sort of pull the radio around. But it's, uh, it's not a big thing. Right, you're going to switch the radio off. So yeah, these, these are pretty simple. I mean, they just literally, you un unscrew the antenna and then drop it. And then you screw in the pigtail adapter just like that. Make sure you get it in nice and tight. And then this end will go into my Antron 99, which is obviously on the uh, side of the house. And that'll be job done. There we go. I've set the um, step rate to 5 gilohertz, which corresponds with most of the channels on the sideband. I'm going to switch it on. Break the squelch. And we'll see what comes in. So I think we'll get on with that. I'll, uh, I can't connect the radio directly to the camera because I haven't got the appropriate lead, but I'll put the microphone close to it so it'll sound a little bit better. So let's have a little flick round on a Saturday morning what we can get on upper sideband. Although I think this radio is dual, side, dual band on sideband. It says upper sideband, but I think it will do lower sideband as well. But anyway, let's find out how it gets on. What is quite nice on this Saturday morning is there's no one blocking the triple five calling channel, no music, um, no tars on calls, no whistles. It's it's there's a lot of competitions going on around the frequency, but it's quite civilized and you know it's quite nice. Um, you do get this on upper sideband. People tend to take it a little bit more seriously. There is a lot of call signs and things, of course, but uh, yeah, it is quite refreshing to come on here and, and not hear a load of nonsense. What seems to be happening is the radio can get quite overloaded quite quickly. I don't know if that's because this is dual sideband and it's picking up lower sideband and upper sideband at the same time. But it seems um, what we would call bleed over from other channels. It's not very selective. I suppose you don't get everything for 30 quid, do you really? It works pretty well. But as I say, it can get a little bit overloaded by strong signals on a very close frequency compared to, say, a Yaesu or CRT 6900. <laughs> Four nine 
Charlie from 233 Echo Kilo 166. Operator Maria and Michael for Radio India Alpha November and the Romania Jukare Scopy 5x757 QSL. CQ, CQ, CQ outside Europe, CQ beaming DX outside Europe, 31 Alpha Tango, 11 4, 31 Alpha Tango, 114, QRZ. Yes, and my division number is 56, 56 Division, Finlandia, Finlandia 56 Division, over. Zero Alpha Tango, 128, 30 Alpha Tango, 128, please, why 27, 61 5. 9 keep an ear out for my dad, 775, Bob, 73, see you and yours, have a great weekend, QRO, big freedom, 50. Vendor 64 in Belgium, I'd like to check in, please, I am 9, Radio Canada, 50, 9, Romeo Golf, 50, big freedom, 50, Canada, how copy? With authority. I thought for sure you were the boss. Ah, Roger, Roger. Well, my boss is on the frequency. Uh, my dad is 775 Canada. Keep an ear out for him. Needle Bender, 64 Belgium, 50 Canada. Roger, Roger, my friends. Roger. And there you go, what do you think of that? My personal opinion, having just edited the video, I think it did pretty well for a 30 quid radio. It wasn't perfect, of course. It did have that um, cross-modulation bleed over, and that's when you've got a strong signal, say, on 27500, you tuned at 27510. There's a little bit of cross-modulation. It's sort of what you used to get on cheaper CBs. I suppose you can't get everything, can you? Um, there are some settings, I believe, you can go into to adjust the sensitivity and a few other things. I might look at that in the future. I need to read up on this, uh, this software. I haven't even read the uh, operating instructions. You know what I'm like. I just jump in both feet but overall i thought for a saturday morning that didn't do too bad as i suspected there is supposed to be a spectrum display on the radio and the first guy left a comment on my previous video uh, gave me that and that was at tjrc uk so thank you very much for him and he says i press the f key and the five key at the same time and that changes the display. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that now, live on camera. So if I cock it up, you'll see it. So F and five together. And, hmm. Nope, that didn't work. Let me just get out of that. Exit that. Maybe we hold them down for a few seconds. Uh, well, something's happened. Scanning. Okay, we've got a minimal display there, but we have not got the little spectrum scope. Hmm. Okay, let me just hit that again. Maybe it's see. Maybe this radio really is slightly different. I'm not sure. That's gone back. So F key five. Uh, no, still at the same. F key and plus five to get the same time. And no, so that seems to reduce the frequency count, doesn't it? We get that in the small numbers. Let me just come out of that. Um, okay, so that 
does not seem to work in my opinion. Let me just get that push the push TT button and the button one that takes me into a hidden menu. So let's just try that. This is a little bit awkward to do on camera. Release all keys. Right. Uh Okie dokie, I think. Yeah, so I think the push to the push to talk and the F1 button takes you just into the lockout channels uh, where you can lock out. So yeah, I'm not as it stands. Um, I still can't get that spectrum scope up. F plus five really can't seem to uh, get it. Let me try that. Yeah, so I'm still I'm still stuck with that. The F plus five um, didn't work unfortunately. Didn't didn't bring up any spectrum scope. Just uh, just reduce the size of the frequencies. I'll get out of that now. And then that gets it back to normal. Okay, well look, I can persevere with that. Um, Rome wasn't built in a day. Maybe um, I'll go away and actually read the manual like I should have done, eh? Yeah. Slap on the wrist from old Fred. But anyway, I'm gonna call it a success because obviously that sideband is working. It might need a little bit of adjustment. Um, again, I can probably get better at that. What I might do on the next video, and it'll be a short, probably midweek video, is that I think I'll carry on tuning and we'll see if this will go up to the uh, 10 meter band because my antenna, although for transmit it's not really tuned on the 28 megahertz band, but my antenna should receive the 10 meter hand bands. And it'd be interesting to see if the radio can receive that. So uh, look out for that video. That'll be coming up. I'll just shove it up midweek. It won't be a long video. I think that's it for this video for now. I'm going to persevere with this, carry on, and I'll update you if uh, I get everything working a little bit better. But so far, yeah, I'm impressed. I can see the attraction of these little crunchings. I, I can see why people are buying these by the dozen because uh, it's so moddable and it's so amazing, really, that what you can get it to... Uh, to receive. I'm going to definitely be going a little bit further with this in the future and seeing, seeing what we can pick up on it. But I think for this one we'll call it a day. As always, thank you for tuning in. I do appreciate your uh, views. There is the thumbs up from Fred in the shed. If you get a second, just hit me a thumbs up before you go. As always, I'd appreciate it. But thanks for now. Catch you on the next one. Oh, yeah.